Hi, I'm David from AWS. We speak to a lot of financial services customers and they're always asking about how to manage their accounts. And today we're really lucky to have Simon from Monzo with us, who's going to take us through some of the things that they're doing. First, Simon, what's Monzo? What do you do? Uh, Monzo is a, a new bank starting up in the UK, um, building on an entirely novel and new um, technology platform, all built in the cloud. One of the things that we wanted to, to make sure when you're starting a bank is that you uh, keep everything completely secure and safe and reliable as well as scalable. So um, I want to talk about how we, we use multiple accounts to make sure that we have the right level of privilege separation uh, and to make sure that people just use the uh, privileges that they require to do their job and not more. Uh, so we have our production environment uh, and one of the really good pieces of advice that we got from Amazon was to use the production environment only for production workloads, to not mm -hmm. put anything else in the production environment. So we started off with a, with our production account, uh, and then we created an entirely separate account, uh, which we call our user account, where we just keep people's logins, where we uh, basically give people uh, the right roles and privileges and give them access. And then they use STS to actually get the role they need to, uh, to work on whatever they're working on. So that you've created the accounts over in the user account here, and then they're assuming roles over into your production yeah, account. Yeah, so we use the SDS to assume mostly read-only roles to production, unless you're actually doing something to production. Got it. And then the other thing that uh, Amazon told us that was a really good piece of advice was to have a separate uh, non-production account. So again, we use Terraform to basically build the same production infrastructure, but we use, build it into a non-production account. And again, uh, different people have different levels of access all organized through the same user's account uh, into the non-production account. Fantastic. So often people want to record what's going on there as well. So are you capturing that sort of activity? Any changes that might be occurring? Sure. So from our uh, user account, uh, we log using CloudTrail into our uh, entirely separate AWS account. We call our audit account. Uh, and then that logs into uh, in, uh, versioned S3 buckets. Uh, on that account. No one has access to log into the audit account, so that no one can modify these immutable records. Okay. And so you're running all your services uh, you know, in production up here, um, but what about backups, you know, in case of disaster, that kind of thing? What sure. are you doing there? One of the things that helps me sleep at night is knowing that our production account is backed up into a, another completely separate account. So we have a backups account, and its job is basically just to store the, the production backups uh, in an encrypted versioned S3 bucket. So that uh, if the worst happened, if something happened to our production account, we know that the backups, because they're in a completely separate AWS account, are totally separate and safe. So that's great. So you've got separate accounts. You're limiting the blast radius of any issues. You're backing up your data into separate accounts. And you're, you're copying everything over here in terms of the, uh, the cloud trail logs so you can see what, what people have been doing. So how long did it take you to set all this up? Uh, it took us probably a day or two to migrate from our old, uh, our original AWS account to right. undo all of that and to build a, a nice um, separated uh, multi-account setup. Uh, it's even easier now with Amazon's organizations API. Um, we hope in the future to manage all of these accounts using Terraform. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I want to get to is to actually, um, instead of having multiple development environments in our non-production account, I want to instead move to have multiple non-production accounts so that the actual uh, layout of our non-production account is exactly the same as our production account. Uh, and the new organization's API will make that really easy. So you'll be spinning up different accounts uh, in a non-production yep. environment for each bit of uh, work, each project, or Yeah, something. so each time we need a new development environment, it will be built using the organization's API as a completely separate account. So that way we can use uh, multiple accounts. We can actually test the changes that we're going to make uh, using Terraform um, before we apply them to our other accounts. Fantastic. Thanks, Simon, uh, for coming in and explaining this uh, account structure to us. Thanks for watching. This is my architecture.